everyone thank you so much for tuning back to urban tropical today i'm so excited to share that finally i have managed to successfully propagate tetra pinax so if you are new to my channel just to let you know that i had a big innovation last year in my loan from the tetra pinax i had so many runners here and there and i started my very first propagation last year and it was an utter failure so after so many attempts i managed to crack it how to do it right and here we go so the number first thing i notice when the runners are in the ground they are all lying flat and when i was trying to propagate i was putting them more vertically deep into the pot and they were just getting to rot so the first thing i learned okay let's not try vertical go horizontal same as is happening in nature so i had this big wide pot the reason i took this big wide pot because it can fit a lot of cuttings because i had a lot of runners so the number one thing I did had the pot had really good compost and topsoil mix you can have any mix you want it's not really fussy at all it doesn't matter as long as it's a good quality so that box is ticked and I just fill this pot put the cuttings on top now the question comes in how small or how big should you cut your runners so based on all the testing i did actually if you don't cut your runner it doesn't mean you're going to get one plant you will still get more plants if that runner has more growing points but i just think it's wise to cut it into small pieces i think anywhere up to four to five centimeter is a pretty good decent size if we'll still have multiple growing points you will still get more plants from one runner because it has just got more growing points so you have now done the pot you have laid cut it into small pieces and you have laid it flat now how deep do you put it in so i have only put one centimeter of compost on top just to make sure that it's covered at the top and it's not going to be too deep now the third question comes in how much watering again there will be difference if you are starting this indoor or outdoor because i was doing it outdoor i had to do a lot of watering so i had to water every other day pretty much for the last one month i that's a month ago i started this process so then you think okay if it's indoors water will not evaporate that quickly so you only water when it's around 70 percent dry because you don't want it to rot the other good thing being outdoor door was because my uh, runners were right at the top even if my soil was moist for longer it's more moist at the bottom than at the top because sun's always reflecting on it so taking excess moisture so there is a far less chance of rotting if it's in an open pot and it's right at the top not very deep so that's a really good tip to have don't plant it too deep the third thing you can do if you are doing it outdoor is don't put it in full sun so i kind of put it in a full sun and less shade because that's the spot i had because the spot i could just look at and think oh i need to water this otherwise i do forget things so if you have got a part shade location that's fantastic because it's still getting light and you don't have to keep on topping up with water just to emphasize here it matters which time of the year it is because i I did this exercise in the months of summer that means I had to really focus on make sure it gets water so in this whole period there is no feed is just water that's it because they just need to germinate they don't need any feed so now my plant has developed a bit more leaves i have given it extremely diluted seaweed extract liquid feed so just to give it some tiny nutrition and now coming back to what is my success rate okay so let's check here the success rate i can count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so i can see 13 plants right here and i'm just going to disturb a bit here see if there is anything and how are they doing now you can see it's quite moist because i gave it a seaweed feed last night and uh, let's see if all the runners are doing great or not so if i okay this is what i was trying to say one runner can have i mean this is a quite long runner i have rather than this is four or five centimeters this looks good eight nine centimeters so that's one plant growing right there 
that's second one growing right there a third one i think this has got so many growing points so that means i need to eventually separate these plants so let's put it back in where was it so that goes back in and i'm just going to do gently here see how are things going Okay, so here is absolutely nothing but I find something just at the top here let's see so this one is not doing great it's rotten so it can go out so if I just go right here Okay. so there is another one this does not look really nice if you look at it but this is still growing a point right there so I think I'm not going to disturb any more actually in the video I spotted another runner right here and I think it's coming this way there is another one right there and of course there is this one growing with it which I am supposed to take out at some point I'm just letting it grow in case it does end up growing roots this time so this is another contender to come out I mean I have decided to just put more plants here uh, it is kind of destroyed with hydroponics and I just think it will be nice to have a lot more plants here rather than just one layer because my border is quite narrow. But I really hope that this video has given you some information on how to propagate these beauties uh, successfully. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.